Good morning out there in 2K land. Listen, man, we got some stuff for y'all, man. I'm going to try to be as fast as I possibly can with this, man. We got the build videos, how the community is reacting to it, and all that good stuff, man. So without further ado, man, we just going to get straight into the news, man. Because uh, as you can see, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be going through the different bills or what have you. Uh, I got a point. I got five bills that I want y'all to look at that I think are some of the top tier bills that you're gonna be able to see. Not the not not necessarily the best, but these are these are upper echelon bills. Uh, I'm gonna tell you who they are. I'm gonna credit the people. The link will be down in the description so you can go watch the entire videos. So make sure y'all do that, man. But we're also gonna go through the news just like we normally do, man. So before we get started, make sure y'all like the video because every time y'all like the video, it helps us get closer to that oh-so-coveted 100K. And without further ado, let's get this video underway. Now, this right here is by yo boy, my boy, the boy, Stax. And you know, he just dropping, he's, he's dropping gems on this video, man. Um, and this is the build or what have you. Make sure y'all go over there and check it out. Y'all see that I got it at 98 overall. It ain't all the way there. But I would just want y'all to know like, like, the build is, di builder is diverse. You can do some of the builds that you want to do and all that good stuff, man. So check that out while we check out some of the news, man. Now check this out. My boy, man, man, grind hard. He came through first, man. And the first thing he wanted to know was this. What what 2K do you think took the most skill to ISO win? Now, I, I want y'all to answer that question down in the comment section, man, because that's one of the ones that a lot of people have. I wanted, to, I always wanted to say 20. 20 took a lot of skill to ISO win. The only problem with ISO in 20 is that we later found the, the uh, well, we had the explosive behind the back. They took that out of the game. And then right after that, people found the hop step and that made ISO in getting the bucket inside, uh, getting on that rim, as it were, a lot easier. But we don't care about that because that's a two. So it's a two, it is what it is. We not worried about it. But at the same time, I know that some people, you know, felt like it was the hop step was overpowered. If you just had your interior up, you really couldn't hop step people to death. That's why we used to go on the stage and I think I think that was the year we played, me, Gambit, and Brute played stage almost exclusively and had like a 90 some odd win percentage in the stage. It was crazy, man. But you know, it is what it is. That boy Dime Work, he wants y'all to know something. He says there's much, must, so much misinformation being spread and that's to be expected. But the but people eating it up as facts is the worst part. The people eating it up as facts is the worst part. I agree with that, man. You know, it's like, it's a lot of misinformation out there. A lot of people just want to say things just in order to get their point across and get stuff done. But listen, bro, you got to take everything with a grain of salt and we won't know anything until we get the game ourselves. But one thing that you can take, with a take, take as facts is these bills that you see up here. Like I said, this is a good bill right here, but something I want to, I'm going to talk to y'all later on about the bill. I want y'all to look at these badges and keep in mind where the badges are. We're going to go back through it. The next bill we got for y'all, man, is, um, this is a bill. Let me see. This is, uh, this is my... <laughs> Jake down, AKA Jake Brown. This is one of those that's gonna be like a more, more even build, but at the same time, it's a, it's, it's, well, it's a more even build, but it's a more, not a do it all build. It's just a, it's just a, a role playing build or what have you like that. But he can be a secondary ball handler. He can do all this stuff. The good thing is he has some pretty good defensive stats. Like I said, everything just spread. He, he's potent offensively as far as driving going to the rim. Um, shoot the ball pretty well. We don't know what the 80 threshold is gonna do, but shoot that ball pretty well. You still got room to go up on that if you want to. The ball handling and the speed with ball, all that good stuff, that's up there. And then the defense is up there right there, man. I think that this is gonna be a tough bill if you want a secondary ball handler, that point forward type bill, all that good stuff. Speaking of the builder, that boy Mike Wong says, Player builders are nearly identical between new and current gen. When it comes to attribute towers, takeovers, and badge point costs are very different though. So he's saying more or less, you can make a more ridiculous build on Nick, uh, on um, probably on current gen than you can on next. Because one thing we do know for a fact, and I think somebody mentioned it, I don't know where I heard it from, but they said that the badge restrictions and the tier system that you see above my head, that's not gonna be a thing in next, I mean, in current gen. So if we see a lot of people run back to current gen, man, hey, we already know what time it is, man. They couldn't handle the heat. You can't handle the heat, start the kitchen. It won't matter to me because I'm a content, I'm a content creator this year. I'm doing all the glitch, uh, all, not like glitch, 
I'm I'm playing on PC. I'm gonna show all the glitches. Somebody play me with a glitch build. I'm showing. I'm doing a video on it. I'm doing all of the uh the cyber faces, all of that stuff. We're gonna have some series. Y'all see Ragey Miller gonna be back. We got all of that stuff, man. That boy Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked than me, with a next video for y'all, man. I'm hating on that uh new on his new uh intro too, man. But check it out. He said the NBA 2K23 builder. Is it a W or an L? I think it's a W, man. A lot of people probably gonna think it's an L because you can't do the things that you used to do. But hey man, I feel like it's a W just because of the fact that it, it, it's, I think it's really going to separate the cheesers from the good players. It looks like 2K has gone out of their way not only to take the cheese and the spamming out of the game itself, but also in the builder, and so that you can't just do things that you uh, that you normally shouldn't be able to do or what have you. Up next, we got that boy Juice Man, Gucci Man, make the trap. Hey, quarter brick, half a brick, whole brick. Hey, hey, check it out, man. Look. He made a build that's crazy, bro. And like I said, it looks like if you go with these 80 thresholds, you're going to be able to do things that a lot of other people can't do, man. But he he made a 6'9", 210 build, 7'4", wingspan, 86 three ball, 87 mid-range. Going to the rim is in the 80s, you know, getting on that rim. Playmaking, 87. We with ball 74. Jesus. Jesus Christ! Look, bro, he like it's a pretty diverse build, but like I said, you know, he, you you have to compromise on the offensive rebound and on the uh on the defensive rebound and stuff like that, living on the strength. But I feel like this build is not a build that's gonna be made to be in the paint like that. This is a build where he wants to be able to play on the perimeter. So you know what I'm saying? It's like that Kevin, he called it literally a Kevin Durant build. Um, as well, you can't see it over there, but this is a Kevin Durant build. So, you know, hey, it's gonna be one of those, and he's a power four. Uh, six nine. So I think it's gonna be something that a lot of people can adapt to. I'm definitely gonna use something like this for one of my big men. But instead of doing this, I'm probably gonna go like six nine, right? Seven four wingspan, and then I'll max out the three, put my mid range like an eighty or something like that, and then uh, pass accuracy will be up there. Uh, ball handling will be decent. Speed with ball not gonna be up there because I don't plan on doing any of that. And then just max out all my defensive stuff and then probably just have my dunking stuff up like that. I, this, this is something I'm definitely gonna do, but I'm gonna tweak this one. So y'all take a look and y'all tweak it the way that y'all wanna tweak it also. Also, we got your boy. Uh, we got your boy, Lil Sean. He's saying the official builder gameplay guards are patched and so you know you got the link in the video or what have you we're gonna have that link to that video down there uh i feel like i feel like one of the gems that i want to drop to y'all man is that it seems like you can pretty much make anything that you want to as long as you're not making a point guard it seems like point guards it's like they did patch point guards or what have you i don't know why or what have you. I don't know how it's going to impact the game. I don't know if we're going to end up having a bunch of six, seven small forwards like we did in the other year, but I know one thing for certain two things for sure. I will probably have a six, seven shooting guard, a six, seven point guard, and I'm just going to have max strength. And uh, that's going to be like my perimeter defender or what have you, because I'm seeing that you can have like, there's some situations where people are having like, uh, what, what, like 88, 90 speed at six, seven or what have you. So, you know, it is what it is, but Hey, we gonna see. We gonna see how that goes. The boy Jairus twin with the ultimate off ball build. Like, check it out, man. Like, look at the stuff you can do, man. AKA Mr. Bad Day. Hey, look. He look 80 driving dunk, 94 standing dunk. Then like like this is this is something that I would do. Pass accuracy 80. Have a have enough ball handling to probably get vice grip or something like that. Just so I can't get the ball stolen. Uh, this is I'm, I'm gonna have the speed on ball on that chain. Uh, perimeter defense, I'm probably going to put that up more. Um, the driving layup and all that, I'm probably going to have those things down as much as possible. But like I said, this is a really good build. You can put the interior up more if you want to. Like It's just so crazy, the stuff that you can do. But I just felt like this is an A1 build. This, is, this one here is tough also. Um, it's, it's just a tough build. Just tough. Yeah, tough as nails also. The boy T.O. put out one. He said 6'9", 91 dunk. 93 three-pointer, 87 ball handling. What the f 2K? And I like it. I like it. I like that you're gonna be able to do some of this stuff, man. We don't know what the speed with ball, what the speed with ball hitting for. Let's see what the speed with ball hitting for. Uh the speed with ball is hitting for what what can he hit? He can get up to 70, uh 76. So I don't think it's a bad bill. I don't think it's a bad thing. I just think that the main thing is that we all have to keep in mind with all of these bills is that adrenaline is going to um 
is gonna impact the build itself and what we can do. And speaking of adrenaline and all of that, that boy BP put out, he put out a uh, video right here, man. And he was like, what y'all think? And he, uh, you know what I'm saying? He dribbling, he spam dribbling, pretty much showing that you can dribble and do do things that you want to and all of that good stuff in, um, in, the, in, in the game. And it is in the game. And my boy Shake told me that even statistics was able to do this right here. But one key thing, here you go. Where you stand, man? Where you stand, man? Where you stand, man? Like that. That's what we understand. <laughs> oh man, he said. Oh, I found it. My fault, gay. Oh man, uh, uh, uh. Like he said, you need, you need, you need a Gatorade bar. So more or less, he's saying you can do the same type. But you see how quickly it's over with. And you can do your thing, but like I said, the main thing oh, is, the main show. thing is, let me turn that down. Uh, look, boom, boom. Like you can make the same movements and I don't doubt that BP is gonna be able to get busy. But the whole point of it is, you're not gonna be able to get busy for as long as you used to be able to. And I think that's the key thing in the, um, you know, I think that's the key thing in the, in the whole thing. I think that people just, didn't want to see people dribble out the clock for 24 seconds and stuff like that, man. Uh, up next, bro, we got that boy Laker fan, and Laker fan, he's got he got a center bill. This is gonna be obviously an inside center bill. You know that boy do them inside centers and stuff like that. Look at the stuff you can do, bro. Like Jesus Christ, man, I ain't gonna lie. If you look, I'm gonna drop these gems in a second, man. But, but I, I still got, we, we got other stuff to get to. So I, I just want to do this right here and then we're going to get to it. Uh, you might want to put this in your back pocket, man. And uh, Chamama, he just did a little, he did a little uh, graphic or what have you. I have the link to this graphic in the description, but it's just saying like what, these are all the thresholds that you need in order to get, you know, certain badges and uh, certain stuff like that. I don't think we're going to have to really look at that like that because I feel like that we will be able to we'll be able to, um, you know, we'll be able to look at that and, and find it ourselves. But you know, hey, it's good to have. And last but not least, my boy, Jairus Twin. Boy, that video that went crazy, my boy. Hold on one second, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go back up. That thing, it was at 450, y'all just saw it. I just refreshed it. This thing say 520, Jesus, get faith. Hey, look, man, he, he doing his thing, man. Big shout out to my guy. I'm glad he, um, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, like when I see something out there, I'm gonna hit you up and say it. And I, I'm not saying he did it because of me, but I'm just saying, hey man, I was like, yo, hey, that joint is hilarious. Go ahead and put that up because you know you got to. Now, we gonna get to the gems, man. Um, Number one gem that I got for y'all. If you're a specialty player, you're gonna be completely fine. The only people that are going to really have issues are the point guards. That's it. It looks like they're getting fewer points. It looks like they can't do as much. And uh, you know, it's just like they just they're just limited. Um, they're probably gonna be limited by the stamina more than anybody because we're not gonna have the ball, we won't be dribbling, we won't be doing anything. If you're a point guard, it might be tough playing for you for a little while, but just sticking there, you're gonna figure it out. Especially bills are gonna be completely okay. No, no, no problem at all. You're gonna be able to do what you want to. And uh, like one of the last things I wanna show y'all is something that I noticed and a lot of other people noticed too, man. Listen, the build that you create, your height, your weight, your stam, I mean, your height, your weight, uh, and your attributes, attributes directly impact what your badges are. So let me show you something right here. So you see right here where he's got, this is, this is Stacks build, he's a point guard, right? Point guard, Limitless Takeoff is a tier three badge, right? I just want to show y'all this right here. Let me, let me go to uh, Juice Man Bill. Is it? No, 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 Verde Bill, right? Okay. This is Jairus Twin Bill. Limitless Takeoff for him is a tier two badge. So, well, hold on, I'm lying. I'm lying. That was posterizing. Hold on, let's go back. Limitless Takeoff. Yeah, it's still tier three over here. Limitless Takeoff is tier three. If you look at. Um, but if you look at twin, it's a tier two badge. And if you have a center, it's a tier one badge. Actually, if we go, let me let me see if we can go through a uh, Laker fan video real quick and get to his get to his spot on there. Uh, and you and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Bam! Check it out, Laker fan. Limitless takeoff. He's a center. 
it's a tier one badge. So a lot of this stuff, a lot of what you do in your bill is gonna be predicated on what you create. Also, look at this right here. Uh, stacks, stacks video yet again. The brick wall is a tier one badge because he's a point guard. But for shake, Shakedown, same thing, tier one badge. For the big man, it's a tier three badge because it's important to your play style. Yet Interceptor is a tier two badge for them. And if you got somebody like Laker fan, Interceptor, he's a center, it's a tier one badge. I, I suppose they figured, oh, this is a juice man right here. This is juice? No, that's twin. So yeah, centers, it's a tier one badge. But if you make a, like a juice man in his build, it's a tier two badge. So the build, the position, and all of that stuff impacts where, what tier your badges are gonna be in. Like right here, tier, a minutes right here for him, for uh, Juice Man, tier three badge. But if you're somebody like Stax and you're gonna need minutes, it's gonna be a tier two. Jake Brown, uh, you know, it's a tier one badge or what have you. So it just really depends on what you got what you want to do and all that good stuff off ball pets let's look and see what off ball pets i'm gonna let y'all get up out of here see off ball pets looks like it's a tier one badge for everybody so we're not really worried about that but i just that's just something for y'all to be mindful of man when you're making your bill the position that you make your bill at, the uh the stats that you put on them and all of that stuff your physicals everything kind of impact what it is that that you're going to be doing and uh where your tier what tier your badges are going to be in so if you're if you're going to be an off ball guy you know, like I said, I didn't even look at the shooting badges, but y'all get the point of what I'm trying to say. So make sure you make, you before you make your bill, look at that, look and see what position is gonna get, like what badges you're gonna want the most, and then kind of look and see, okay, if I make him as a center, I could probably get that, get the badge that I want for a little bit cheaper than if I make him as a power forward. Or if I make him as a, uh, a small forward, I might get that badge a little bit cheaper than if I make him as a point guard or a shoot guard. So make sure y'all look at that. I think that's gonna be something to look at. It's gonna be really, really impactful over the year. And now we're gonna see how it goes, man. Anyway, we got the city coming up in about 20 minutes or so. Make sure y'all go watch one of these other videos, man. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time, man. Until next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Guys, speak, guys, speak.